Here we are in Kiaau, just leaving Kiaau and the beautiful people of this place. All their homes are reduced to rubbish. This is how the native people of this land are being treated. Okay, we're going to see what's going on over here. Everybody still viewing? Please spread the word about what's going on here. Um, if you can share on Facebook or anywhere to let people know um, that this live stream is happening, that would be awesome. We're going to check one last place. This was a whole community in here. It's basically been reduced to garbage, but this is actually a very nice community. How's everything going here today? It's going. It's going. What are what are you folks doing um, for the city? I mean, for the for the people who don't have any place to go. Are you recording us right now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want. Sorry, I should. I, yeah, yeah. It's a. Um, I have the thing so that okay. so that so that you would know that it's being recorded. So your question is again? Oh, my question is, um, what, what, what options do the people have? You know, the, the one thing that I'm really concerned about is um, people with animals um, feel that they are forced to choose between having to abandon their animals or seek shelter. You know, to, in, they have to abandon their animals in order to seek shelter. Is there any alternative? Does the city, is there anywhere that they can go um, that they can take their animals? The Hawaiian Humane Society has been coming out here for, you know, several weeks and informing individuals with animals, with pets, uh, to, to offer their assistance in placement as well as, you know, but a lot of the families have said that they either had families that they were going to move into. Some of them, of course, had also been told about various uh, housing assistance as far as shelters through the service providers that have been coming out for the past uh, 60 days plus. But those those shelters don't allow pets, right? Okay, but as I said, that some of them said that they have families. Some so, of some so, of them yeah, may, so, have, may so, have families. So what I'm saying is that the Hawaiian Humane Society, with the assistance of Canine Kokua, have been offering assistance to anyone who wants that assistance. You mean to, to um, have their pet either adopted or euthanized to either find some placement as well or okay. or if but they're if the they can't find though, placement then they would be the point is executed those individuals if they so choose to find homes for their dogs or pets they had plenty of time and plenty of information and we've been 
uh, working with the provider, service providers, to make sure that everyone had information to get the assistance. If they so choose to take that assistance, we it, can't, as you know, we can't is there, people to take is there any guarantee that their pet would survive if it went to the Humane Society? Because uh, my understanding is they hold them for nine days. If they can't find placement, then they are killed. I wish you were here earlier because mm -hmm. the, the Hawaiian Humane Society uh, uh, spokesperson was here. Yeah, I, I to spoke to them. You did today? Mm, yeah, earlier, but I didn't get a clear answer. Okay. Well, I strongly recommend that you call them. Yeah, basically. They've been working with us. Um, what for, they for what they did say was that if the um, that they would hold them for a maximum of nine days, and yes, they do have to euthanize uh, the pets if they are not placed within nine days. Well, I'm not going to speak to them, okay? Mm -hmm. But I can assure you that they've been working with us. And they have been coming out for many, many days and working and talking to the people who do want assistance, okay? Not just to take the dogs to the Humane Society, but also to help with placement. So, the, if, as I said, Canine Kakua that works out in this district have been very instrumental in working and talking to the folks here who are serious about getting their pets placed in other homes. So what, what I about think that is sort of the yeah, ideal situation. What, what, I, what, what I'm asking is, is there any option for people who want to stay with their pets, to keep their pets with them? I think if they have families, as they've indicated, some of the, fam some of the people here have said that they have friends and family. So I think we're as I said, working with and trying to give them various options, okay? But, but so it, please talk to them. It, it, but it seems to me that the city, in, um, since the city is, you know, basically telling them not to live here, and um, most of them have indicated that this is their last resort. I mean, they're here because they're houseless. They don't have fa family to stay no, with. actually, on the contrary, uh, several of them told the service providers that they do have families. And they chose, for whatever reason, to be out here, to live out here. Some families have said that they enjoy being out here, okay? Unfortunately, you know, as we said, that this area is, is off limits. It's, it's trespassing to any individuals, and we need to address public health and safety concerns. So why are you doing the eviction? I just said that to you. If you would listen to my responses, but what, what we're, benefit ad we're addressing mm -hmm. public health and safety, okay? We're listening to the community, and we're responding to the community here on the Leeward Coast, and we need to address public health and safety concerns. Okay. And we want to make sure, and that's the priority, okay, is safety, okay? okay. And that's why we have come out, you know, with the service provider.